Welcome back to part two. Now I am filming part two ahead of part one so I can get most of all the lights started and finished by the time part one is up. Let's be honest, it's gonna take him twice as long to put up his lights and his my Versus decorations. like the Christmas trees and, <laughs> well, the, inside and the decorations. So <laughs> what I'm gonna go do now, and Brittany is kind of like, don't you do this, but I'm going I'm to go not. and I take, I gotta take the window out upstairs. Wait. I also have to take the screen out upstairs and start stringing up lights. I don't approve. Brittany's like, don't you do it, don't you do it, don't you do it. And I'm over here like, yes, yes, no, yes, Nolan's yes, like, yes, don't yes. do it or you're gonna yeah. go to jail. Nolan was like, you're gonna go to jail. He's okay. I but said, I said, don't say you're going on the roof again. I'm going on the roof. He's allowed I, to go on our own roof, Nolan. It's fine. Oh, I mean, it's not fine, but it's okay. I, oh, it's perfectly fine. We got this. So these three boxes on the bottom here is the ones I have to take outside along with those. I do realize that I'm going to need some more of the uh, uh, circle bulb lights to do the whole roof line of the house. Yes, I'm going all out and I'm going to be extra for this Christmas. So you all know that this was my first time putting lights on our house for Christmas and I'll be honest I was a little bit nervous to do all of this because I didn't know how everything was going to come out and I didn't know how safe I was going to be by myself on the roof but I ended up using these universal light clips along with the bulb lights and everything worked out flawlessly. I ended up stretching the lights out, attaching the clips one by one and if you can see Aria is like poking her head out right there just to make sure that I'm okay and that she can watch and she was also watching to see what all of her friends was doing but anyways this was such a fun project and I cannot wait to keep doing this over the years. So Brittany went yesterday and picked me up six more boxes of the lights because I feel like the I, I would have been able to do it with like probably three more, but I had extra stuff planned. And they were on sale. Oh, they were finally on sale. Two fifty each, or like two fifty off each. Oh wow, that's impressive. And then also she picked me up um, some more uh, universal clips. And she also picked me up this little hanger. She picked me up the hanger because she thought that I was going to like fall off the roof or something. <laughs> so, so she picked up the hanger so it makes it 10 times easier for me to hang up these lights. The only thing I'm, I'm worried about is when I get to like the peak of the roof is, is it going to be long enough to reach? And I don't think it is, but we'll see. <music> All right, you guys, so we had to kind of uh, quit doing the uh, lights that are going on the top of the house because I need to get a ladder to be able to get on top of the roof and that's going to be a fiasco in itself. So I just kind of quit doing that. I'm going to switch gears a little bit and I'm going to start working on the bushes and the trees that are out here. So I had to jump on here real quick and tell you guys about how I had to restring the lights that are on the rails and that were on the pillars. I originally put up the green stranded lights and I did not like how they looked at all. So what I ended up doing was restranding the entire front porch area with these white stranded lights and I think it turned out 10 times better than having the green ones on there.
so if you guys can't tell I'm literally putting lights on anything that I can including these tiny bushes that probably should only hold about 20 lights and I put maybe a hundred on them so I was also taking the lights and running them from bush to bush and I was hiding the lights underneath the mulch and that made it to where everything was able to connect and then finally I want to talk about my favorite part here is this blow up fire truck now we bought this from Lowe's and I will leave a link in the description below for this inflatable fire truck this thing is like for me is the staple of the house because it is so big and it's so awesome that even the kids when we plugged it up they were like oh my gosh this thing is so cool and also don't worry you guys I had a good grip on Scarlett this whole time I was not gonna let her fall because I know somebody will say why were you holding Scarlett like that in the video So you guys can tell that I was trying to get as high as I could with these lights by myself but I ended up going back and getting the pole that Brittany got for lights and I was able to string the entire tree with this 11 foot pole and I will also leave that in the description down below because this thing was honestly a lifesaver. Boom. All right, you guys. So everything for the house on the light wise for the outside lights is finished for the most part. I still have one thing left that I need to do, which I'm going to get around to because it's something that's been in my family for a long time. And the only thing I have to do is restring the lights around the wreath. Well, that's going to take a little bit more time, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything because it's like 99% done. As you guys can tell, it's really dark outside right now, but like I worked really hard on this right here. Um, I'm gonna do some overlay shots for you guys of everything that I have done. Yes, it is really, really dark and you can barely see me, but that's okay because like this is awesome. It's, I told everybody it's like super dark so you can't really know, see our faces but, it's but okay. what do you it think? So good. I think the only thing that's missing is the wreath now. I know I told I just talked about that like when I walked outside I was like the only thing that's okay. left on the house okay. is the wreath gonna go above that right there. What if we just right put here. It, um, on the window? So where do you get what do you guys think? Should I put it at the very peak of the house or should I put it at the like the window to the right or the bottom windows let me know in the comments whatever has the most votes is going to be exactly where I put this wreath so leave it down below but you guys that does it for this episode of more with Mario. as always thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting this channel if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like also subscribe and comment down below and we will see you guys in our next video bye, bye.